Today I'll show you how to animate static elements on your site. You can use this to make your site interactive. And the best part is you can animate any element on your site, whether it's text, image, or a section. For example, if you see here, the clouds have this floating animation. And down here, you can see spin effect on this graphic. Yes, you can also spin it 360 degrees. Also, if I scroll down further, you can see that I've added a grow effect on my text as well to highlight the heading of my contact us section. So you can choose any element on your site to animate and the steps that I'll show you will be the same for all the websites. So let's begin. So before we proceed, let's quickly install the plugin. Just go here and look for Xpro add-ons plugin. Install and activate it. Now I'll go to my page and here are the images that I want to add the effect to. If you click on it, go to advanced and scroll down to find the floating effect tab. Just click on enable here and you'll see a bunch of options. The translate option lets you move images horizontally and vertically. The rotate option lets you rotate the images and finally this scale option lets you grow your images. So let's try out the translate effect first. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. So let's try out the translate effect first. I click here and drag the X value to the right to set how far our image will move horizontally. We can also add some movements from the left to the center. So I'll fine tune both sides a bit to get it just right. Next, let's adjust the Y axis for some vertical movements. You'll see the image start to go up and down and side to side. I'll quickly make a few changes and slow it down a touch to make the effect smoother. Then we'll set a duration in milliseconds this controls how fast the effect occurs. Cool. Now that we've got one image done, I'll just copy the effect and paste the style onto the other image. As you can see, both images are now floating in exactly the same way. All right, let's move on to the rotating effect. So I've got this image down below. Let's select it and enable the floating effect again. But this time, we'll focus on rotation. Click on edit rotate, choose the plus mode and drag the Z value all the way to the right. Oh, and if you're trying to create a continuous spin effect instead of back and forth movement, make sure to use both motion directions. For example, in the edit rotate settings, use both the positive and negative Z values and set them to the maximum. This will help you get that complete rotation effect. Now, let's see how you can set the rotation speed. We'll set the duration to about 5,000 milliseconds. Then I'll max out the rotation from the left and make the duration 3,000 milliseconds. This will give us a nice smooth rotating effect. If you want your images to spin faster, just lower that value. For a slower rotation, increase this instead. Play around with the values until you get the speed you want. Lastly, Let's try out the scale effects at the bottom of our page. So select this heading, enable the floating effect, and this time we'll use the scale option. I'll drag this value to 1.2 pixels. Let me scale it down to 1.1 pixel instead, and also lower the duration to match a new size. And we are done. Hit publish, and let's preview our page in a new tab. We see our images moving side to side, this image rotating 360 degrees smoothly, and that heading zooming in and out. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this, so click here and I'll see you there.